Hi, I'm Alan Peltier. I'm the president of HRE Performance Wheels. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about our HRE 3D Plus project, which was the 3D printed titanium wheel uh, we did in cooperation with GE Additive. And I wanted to just try and answer some of your questions today. Corfin Kyle, are you the first to build something like this rim? Yes. No. Actually, we're not sure. I think that we are. Uh, there's been other 3D printed wheels done typically out of polymers. I do think that we're the first ones to do it out of titanium. So um, if we're not, uh, I'd be surprised. F80 Dad, how many people and how many days do you anticipate it will take to get the brake dust off and keep these clean? Um, I don't think you should do it yourself. That's what I recommend. So real Kunal Sharma, how does this new 3D printing process affect the weight and structural rigidity versus forged? So there's a couple factors. First off, it, it is titanium, and titanium has a much higher specific strength, that's strength per weight, than aluminum. So in theory, you can make a much stronger and lighter wheel. Uh, also, the material modulus is higher, so it can be stiffer. The fact that it's 3D printed, there are a couple things that you be, have to be aware of. One is there are internal stresses that get built up and you're going to want to use a downstream heat treatment process most likely to sort of relieve those internal stresses. The other is there's a little bit of porosity in a 3D print and so there's a hip process which you're going to want to do which is a high intensity pressure process I think is what it's called. <laughs> Uh, what it does is it consolidates the titanium to get rid of that porosity and really get the fatigue strengths back up to what you would expect uh, with a forged titanium. Keenan Warner, how much? That's a great question. So we don't know the answer to that yet, but the guess is that it would have to be a very exclusive product if we were to take it to market. Clem 1, how stable is it compared to a normal rim? I think if this wheel were printed as one piece um, and we were to go through all of the typical engineering that we normally do, uh, it would be just as stable or more so than a normal alloy wheel. The Z. what materials did you use to 3D print the rim? Um, it's TIE 6 AL4V and that's, or TIE 6 4, very common titanium alloy. I suggest googling it. Okay, the offset, how long does it take to produce each wheel with this method? Um, it depends on the envelope and the design. If you can only fit one wheel in the machine at a time, you're probably looking at about four days. If you're able to get it to where you can do two at a time, then you know you can maybe five days or so. So we think that we might be able to do anywhere from one to two sets a month if we were to take this to production. Alberto Javier, do you guys realize how sci-fi this is? Absolutely. This is absolutely cool and totally sci-fi. We love it. We get it. So TJ Makwala, I apologize if I'm messing up anybody's names. Uh, what was smoked during the design of this wheel and how long did it take to design? The wheel is purposely meant to look crazy. Uh, it's, it's clearly got a lot of features in it that we might not take to production. And the reason for that is we wanted to highlight the additive features. So some of these rib bone features and things are things that might not make it to production. But what the, the general idea was to take our 101 design with this Y spoke and then our 201 design and sort of integrate those two and then pass the spokes through each other and then add some other crazy 3D printed features basically to really highlight the fact that it's an additive wheel and not something that's machined. Wheels daily. Does Atrie have a plan to bring these to batch production? Uh, we're working on that. Derek Nicholson, on a scale of 1 to 100, how far are you parking away from curbs to prevent scrapes? Well, with the carbon barrel, yeah, you don't want to do that. With the titanium, titanium uh, is pretty strong. So if you were to curb a titanium wheel, honestly, it's going to take it a lot better than an aluminum wheel. So I wouldn't be too stressed about that. MRG Williams 15. Do you see 3D printing rims as the way of the future? Is this or will this be the only way to make the best rims? In the near future? No, we don't think so. We think this would be something that would be super exclusive, very low volume, limited production. Um, but in the future, yeah, I think it's all gonna be Star Trek. We're gonna push the button and ask for a wheel and it's gonna pop out and same thing with our clothes and everything else. And this 
question comes from one of our dealers. What does it taste like? That sounds like them. Um, yeah, it doesn't really taste like anything. I hope that helped answer some of the questions. Obviously, this was a concept for us, um, but we were completely overwhelmed by the positive response and just the sheer volume of positive responses that we've got. So it's definitely exciting, not just for you guys, but for us as well. And it's really inspiring us to really take this to the next level.